system. I see, Professor. So if you say that fat is not beneficial to us when consumed in big proportions, can we humans survive without fat intake? No, 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 no. Saturated fats are needed for the production of hormones, the padding around organs, for energy, and for the stabilization of cellular membranes. Unsaturated fats are used to increase your high density lipoproteins and decrease your bad cholesterol. So it's impossible to live without fats. Thank you very much, Professor Shabro. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Dream on about your no fat diet. I am Nabila, reporting for the news. So nicely done, of course. So, Baboon, what makes you think makes other people fat? This is because mother, father fat. That's why children also fat. You know, hereditary. Then, World Cup also at fault. World Cup arrives with many fatty KFC deals. Eat, eat all these fatty KFC deals will make them grow fat. And next day, still need to study and work. Then World Cup matches and so late. Eat then sleep like pig. No wonder as fat as pig. I like me. I prioritize my beauty sleep. I, I go first lah. I need to go to gym. Bye bye. There you are, audience. Studies shows that lack of sleep, boredom, poor eating habits, and genes contributes to the reason why people may be fat. I'm shooting. Reporting from somewhere near MP of the road for the news. Pua Chu Kang has always been known as the contractor who is the best in Singapore, JB, and some say Batam. Hello, I'm PCK, best in Singapore, JB, and some say Batam. Boss, try this peanut butter. Very nice, very nice. Come, come. King Kong, you're very annoying. However, now he is infamous for being the biggest and laziest contractor in those said places. This is all because King Kong introduced him to the creamy, yummy peanut butter. For the past 10 years, this fetish causes him to gain all this excess weight. Carbohydrates and sugar. And all these can be converted into 
body fat without proper exercise. Uh, so this could help explain why Mr. Prof got this size uh, after many years of heavy peanut butter consumption. Furthermore, peanut butter is high in saturated fat and also some brands of peanut butter may contain partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, which is high in trans fatty acids. Um, and both of these can not only continue, uh, contribute apologize, to one's body fat, but also uh, could potentially lead to arthrosclerosis or even coronary heart disease. I see. So why do they use partially hydrogenated vegetable oils in this peanut butter if it is unhealthy? Another very good question. Um, so it turns out that this oil helps give peanut butter its delicious consistency mm -hmm. uh, and enables it to spread nicely and evenly over a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, these kinds of oils are used for that purpose in many kinds of spreads. I see. Thank you very much, Mr. Villa, for your enlightenment. You're welcome. So there you go, Mr. Poitukam. Time for you to use your brain. Use your brain. Use your brain. And use the time to reflect on your obsession over peanut butter. I am Nabila reporting from the School of Life Sciences and Technology for the news.